Hello. Today was a cold and rainy day, and when it's cold and rainy, I always feel like having a nice hot soup or stew. So today I'm making cialpino. Cialpino is an Italian stew or soup, but definitely you gotta call it delicious. So let's get cooking. So I've got my salad master pot heating up right now, and I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of olive oil. I have grapeseed oil. As you know, I always cook with grape seeds, so when I'm heating things up. So about three tablespoons. Okay, then I get um, fennel, one large fennel. Fennel, have you seen it in the supermarkets? It's like this with a ball on the end. Well, that's fennel. It smells very good. And what I did is I chopped it up. It's all here. I chopped it up really nice and just one large fennel and I add it to the pot, okay? So I add this to the pot. Okay, I'll add um, onions, like one large onion, chopped. I already chopped it. And shallots, uh, three, three shallots. And about two teaspoons of salt. Okay, so I stir that. Stir until it's translucent. So it's been simmering for 10 minutes and now I add my chopped garlic, what I just did, about three to four large chopped garlics and about three-fourths or less. No, I'm saying about an eighth of a crushed red peppers. And I saute for two more minutes. Okay, now that this has been simmering for about two minutes, I'll add tomato paste. About a fourth, fourth of a cup. Okay, and I'll stir that around. Okay. Now I'll add, well, I usually like to add diced tomatoes. So I'm using my San Marzano tomatoes, which are amazing uh, tomatoes. But um, I like to use diced, but stores didn't have it. So I'm gonna use, um, is it peeled? Peeled. Okay, and I'll just cut it up right in here. Actually, Chalpino originated in San Francisco. It was an Italian-American who discovered it. He was a fisherman. But they do serve it in Italy. In fact, when I went to Portofino, Italy, uh, we ordered Chalpino. And the difference is it's still tomato-based but it's not as heavy tomato base and it melts in your mouth. Oh my goodness, the Chapino in Italy was phenomenal. Okay. That's what led me to make, start making it at home. Okay, so then we do uh, either fish broth or chicken broth. I don't have fish, so this is chicken broth and I do about five cups. So let me just add this here to get all the rest of the juices of the tomatoes. So that's three cups. Let me do, let's do um, two more. I'm gonna do six only because my family really likes this and I don't wanna run out. All right, so let's get another one. So five cups. I'm actually doing six, but you could do five. Cause this is stew, but we, my, my family likes the, uh, the broth. All right, so five to six cups of chicken broth or, chi or fish stock, okay? And then we do about a half and a, a cup and a half of uh, wine. I have, this one is the only one I have, it's huge. Uh, it's about, we'll do about a, a cup and a half of this. Uh, it should be dry white wine, as long as it's not sweet. Okay, so 
I'll pour the wine. I'll stir that. And the last thing I will put in for now is bay leaf. Now I'll add one, but my bay leaves are quite small. As you can see, the bay leaves, the dry bay leaves. So I'll add about three of them. Right, let me do four. And then I turn up the volume, I turn up the heat, and I come, it comes to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, I'll bring it down and I let it sit for 30 minutes. Okay. So that's the base. Okay, so let's leave it there and we'll wait for 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes and it's ready to add this, the, uh, the seafood. Now I just added the mussels, I'm sorry, the clams. I didn't have mussels. So I added the clams and I add those first for five minutes. I also added some Italian bread in the oven that is um, baking. So let's put this on, let's put, this, put the lid back on and wait five minutes. So it's been five minutes and with when I added the clams, uh, like I said, you can add either clams or mussels. Now, I'm gonna add, now, what type of fish? Now, I, buy, I bought shrimp, so I'm gonna add some shrimp. Okay. And you could use any firm fish, any firmy fish. So it could be cod, halibut, salmon, anything firm, no tilapia. So this is mahi mahi. Is it mahi mahi? Yes, mahi mahi. So I put that in. Firm. Firm. Can we add that? All right. Let's go. Oh, forgot that. Now I've washed all my. I've washed all my fish. Now this is Alaskan cod. So I'm gonna add this again. I already cut them up and I'm just gonna add them. So I add my cod, which again, I've already washed them, so don't worry. Next. I, I bought salmon. This is the salmon. I cut it up already. My salmon's cut. Fresh salmon. Everything was fresh. You could use frozen fish, not a problem, but I went to Sprouts and they had everything fresh and I bought it there. And the last thing is, oh, tuna. I bought tuna because it looks so amazing. I hope tuna, tuna goes well with this. I've never used tuna, but why not, right? Why not? So let's put the tuna in. And then once all your fish and uh, shellfish are in, you wait uh, five more minutes and it's done. That's it. So let me give it a nice stir. Make sure all the fish is under so they could, it could cook. Okay. Now I'm going to give it five more minutes and that's it. Isn't that great? So it's been five minutes, so let's take a look. Look at my stew, it's ready. Look at all the, the beautiful, look at my clams opened up. I've got my shrimps ready, everything is beautiful. So let's start plating, this looks amazing. Ooh, one fell, I'm gonna... Now, this is the time when you correct your seasoning, salt or crushed red pepper. So let me see what we got. Mmm, do you wanna try it, Julian? Okay. Okay, come on, honey. Here, I, I, I'm gonna double dip here. I'm gonna double dip. Okay. You wanna go ahead? All right. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Really good. <laughs> Yay! Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, honey. All right. Well, wash your hands because we're, we're gonna we're gonna start the. Um, getting ready to eat. So let's me plate this. Okay. I've got some fish. Let me get some shrimp here. Oh, I got a clam. 
get another clam. Okay, there you go. That's, look at this. And then what I do, top it off with parsley. And bread. Now, doesn't that look wonderful? It smells delicious. I hope you make this because you will be like, amazed at how delicious this is. So, bon appetit. I'm gonna go eat. Ciao.